Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. And today, as always, we're going to have top 10 banknote sales on eBay, this time from uh, October. And here there are some interesting ones. Uh, not really anything surprising, but something interesting. So we'll start with the 10th. Uh, this is a color trial specimen from uh, Persia, from Iran, number 11. These don't really come so often on auctions on eBay. You do see them in auction houses, but on eBay, I think I had never seen something like this being offered uh, in an auction. But yeah, quite a significant amount paid for this banknote. I think a bit too expensive, to be honest. Here is a bit of an oddity. This one was sold by close to 4,800 also. Um, Bank of Canada, um, it's from a series that is highly regarded, you can clearly see that it's in a good condition, but it's, it's, it's certified by this BCS, which is one of these rating companies that I'm not really sure, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I would buy anything or rely on any data from this company, um, still, very nice banknote and a very high price. Next, and this is from uh, one of the guy that sells most banknotes from China. He's always there. This one is a um, specimen from quite the usual or normal banknote. This 8363 pick from the Republic of China. Of course, uh, this is rare because it's in a very good... Yeah, it's... A, in, PMG 63. I don't get, there's a lot of market for these Chinese banknotes and they seem to have a, a very high price, but this is something that I don't really collect so much. And then another one which why I would not really touch this banknote. This came with a price tag of 5,120 bucks in very good, certified by another, this grading company. I think this one is a Chinese grading company also says repairs. I know this is a very um, rare banknote, but there are also a lot of um, copies from these. So paying some this amount for a banknote certified by a unknown grading company, I would not do it. Next, and here, finally, this one is extremely fine, but 100 bucks certified by PMG. This one with the text in English. They don't come up this much, also because $100 was a lot of money at the time. We don't know exactly how much it was sold for, but close to 7,000 Canadian dollars. Um, yeah, beautiful banknote. It also doesn't appear that much. And here again, something that I think it's a bit extreme also. <clears throat> PMG 66 for one of the Republic of Ireland 50 pound banknotes. I'm not sure if this was due to the high grade, but this banknote you can probably get for a significant less amount of money. Of course, it's not really a cheap banknote, but and it's a beautiful one, don't get me wrong, but um, I think this was a bit too much. And here, this is a country that I do actually uh, collect. Of course, I don't have this one. Pick 12 Bulgaria in, he says, very good plus, fine plus. I'd say this is yeah, fair, I would say. Um, but of course, 500 Lev Lato, which, as far as I am remember, is Lev's Lato is gold Lev or silver's Lev. One of the two. Uh, this one reached 5,500 dollars in this condition so imagine if this banknote was in a better condition third most expensive one again china and these are from the dynasty banknotes one of these first ones pick a1 um in extremely fine i don't know much about this banknotes i have to admit like i said already about china uh they are quite unique um and I know that there's a lot of people collecting this, but yeah, 500 cash, um, 
somewhere close to 6,000 I would expect this bank to have landed on. Second most expensive one is again China, pick 829, uh, PMG 64, another one of these early Ch China Republic banknotes. This one close to $7,000. Not much to say here. This would be a normal price for this kind of banknotes that do appear here and there in China. And before we, really, we reveal the most expensive one of the week, which is actually very surprising, we do have like one of oddity here. This stuff sold for 4200 and something. I'm not sure if it sold. I mean, it's there that it sold, but I'm not really sure if this was a a real purchase or not. This are, It's a brick of used 10, 100 billion Igor checks from Zimbabwe. This is not really a rare banknote. The, it's even commoner in... Uh, the condition that they show here, I'm not really sure if anyone would actually pay this amount, but it shows as, as sold, maybe it's a fake one, but it's a fake sell, but that's how it is. And then most expensive one again comes from this BCS certification service, uh, $5, the minimum of Canada. Of course, this banknote also does not appear so often. So even in auctions, this one came to, well, they accepted the, an offer under the 11,600 Canadian. It's a beautiful banknote. I'm not really sure, like I said, with the other ones that I would buy anything that is certified by this company because this might also be a, a forgery, for example. Anyway, this was October for you. Um, next week, you'll have from... Um, auction houses and there you'll have a lot of nice stuff that you rarely rarely see so just stay tuned for next week and see you next time and thanks for watching bye bye